We know that in classic Hodgkin lymphoma, patients who relapse within one year of diagnosis are at uh, high risk of uh, progression and have overall poor prognosis. Uh, this year at ASCO, uh, we uh, present uh, retrospective, uh, de uh, retrospective outcomes out of four in 14 institutions of uh, patients of uh, classic Hodgkin lymphoma who relapse within one year of diagnosis comparative to patients who relapse more than one year of diagnosis. We saw that patients who um, uh, relapse within one year of diagnosis um, were highly likely to receive more than one line of salvage regimens with, before they could go for stem cell transplant. Uh, so they are less likely uh, to be successfully bridged after one line of salvage therapy. And they also had poor uh, or inferior progression-free survival after stem cell transplant. Um, we uh, also compared um, type of salvage therapies and uh, outcomes in this uh, population and we saw that that um, um, C uh, checkpoint inhibitor-based pre-transplant salvage regimens um, are associated with improvement in the progression-free survival in patients who relapse within one year of diagnosis, especially patients who, are, um, have, who have primary refractory disease. They have two-year progression-free survival of about 48% when treated with pre-transplant platinum-based salvage therapy. Um, but when they are treated with pre-transplant checkpoint inhibitor-based salvage therapy, the two-year progression-free survival is improved up to 84 percent. So uh, this is very, uh, these findings are very important because they speak to efficacy of checkpoint inhibitor based salvage therapies in um, population of relapse refractory classic Hodgkin lymphoma that is very uh, conventionally have quite poor prognosis.